What's going on everybody? It is Saturday, March 5th, 2016. Uh, Dan and I are at cellar hole number one. And this is from some new research for 2016. And it looks like an older hole. I don't know how well it's going to produce for us. Um, if it doesn't, we're going to move along and find some other cellar holes that we got on uh, GPS. So stick around and in a bit I will also show you what we dug yesterday because we went out on a half day hunt and found a really old 1600 site and I did pretty good so get day started and we'll stop and look at my digs at some point. Dan and I have been here a whopping five minutes and we both got targets at the same time. He's got a Tomback and about 20 VDI six inches down I have. And there's my culture. Little oval cuff button. Hopefully it cleans up and there's a nice urine on it. Well, that's a good sign. We just got here and this place is already coughing up some 1700 stuff. <laughs> Goings are a little slow here, that's my next target. Somebody left me their knife. And I haven't missed much. So it's a big cellar hole, but it's kinda quiet. It's still early. On we go. Alright, I'm finally on the board with a button. Yay! Starting to wonder. Um, this one was deep and it's a pewter button. Gives you an idea of the age of the site that we're working. Um, let's take a look. Hopping and bopping out by the well here. And this one was super deep. You can see the end of my pin pointer and it's probably five inches down on the ground. So that target was almost a foot. And it's got a little fancy on it. But it is a very toasty pewter button. That's what I'm gonna have to put in a plastic bag, take home and do the Elmer's glue trick on. Yeah, that's old. I am very happy. Let's, uh, let's keep this day going. So today is Saturday the 5th and Dan and I got out for a half day yesterday on Friday the 4th and it was to another spot that was way out in the middle of nowhere away from any other known cellar holes that they had been to and we did this wonderful march through some mountain laurel for probably an hour and we finally found the place and it turned out to be a very early site and I did very well there. Um, I didn't take any video so you'll just see them over here as I spit them out. Um, I squared myself a spoon and unbeknownst to me it turned out to be what's called a Latin spoon and I'll put the correct spelling up there so you don't think I'm thinking of uh, Latinos. Um, that dates to the late 1600s and that's my earliest metal detecting find ever. Woo um, after that I wound up getting um, a 1722 Hibernia Halfpenny, my first one of those, the reverse on it's gorgeous, I am so happy. Um, I got a little silver by the hole. We think it's a real, but I mean, it's toast. It, it looks like somebody really got angry and ground the thing between two rocks. Maybe it was a love token and they broke up or something. I don't know. Um, and then a few other bits and pieces. Um, I don't know what that little ring piece is. I think that's uh, maybe the um, end piece for a handle for a knife or something or a tool. But that turned out to be a very good day detecting and I'm very happy with what I got. Um, that was a few off the bucket list, so let's get back to digging. All right, we're finally on a good target here. If I can get the, to be able to see that. It's 81 to 83 all day long, so let's dig her. And there she is. Looks like I got myself a slick rick. Ain't much on this coin. A copper disc but it is copper number six of the year I believe holy moly I'm not complaining a bit 
We'll see when I get home and scrape it up. Maybe it's got a little something hiding on it, but it looks slick. And there's my next target. Looks like it's going to be a little plain flat button. And it is. Button number two on the day. And there's my next target. This one was only giving me maybe 22, 24 VDI. Very low for a button. That's a Tom back. That crazy looking shank on it. Yeah, maybe the low VDI, it was a Tom back. Stuff to tell. Kind of crusty. Or not. That's a weird shank. Very cool. Well, next target's pretty much in the same area that I found that copper and these other two buttons. I'm just kind of crisscrossing through this little area next to a huge tree, and uh, I got a real iffy tone, maybe 10 one way, 20 the other way, about six inches down. I definitely got a tom back. And. Pretty fancy, you know? Very nice. Take a little Tom back button. I haven't seen one of these in a bit. And I'm sitting in the cellar hole here, poking around the edges, and here's my next find. A little cuff button or something. Cute little guy. Well, this place is kind of slowing down. We think it's been hit before, maybe a little sloppy. Dan's got a nice buckle that was almost on the surface somebody missed so I'll keep beating this place up a little more I guess alrighty then Dan and I have moved on from spot number one because it slowed down pretty good and we want to come check out this site because this one's really off the beaten path and it's on top of a hill and it looks beautiful let's take a little tour all right so there's the road up the hill and it opens up into a huge courtyard um, off to the left here you can see a large animal pen and there's a depression behind there there may be even barn back there as well and we're in a big open courtyard and there's all these openings into the fields surrounding the house and there's the cellar hole right there and there's even an outbuilding there and you can see some of the other walls and even fields back there this is a huge site and hopefully we're gonna do pretty good here so stay tuned and there's my first culture from stop number two of the day. Little iron buckle giving me anywhere from 30 to 50. Well, that's the culture. Hopefully they get better after this. All right, I've wandered a bit here, and I'm currently in the animal pen, and I'm right by the entrance. It's right there. And about eh, seven inches down, I got myself a... I don't know, 40s tone, and I got this little guy. And there goes the phone. Little dome button, it's got a nice little decoration. You can see it's a two piece, but the back's all crushed in, rotted away. I think it's got some gold gilt on it. We'll clean that up when we get home. Um, still getting started here. We've only been here about 20, 25 minutes, and we're digging a couple little things here and there. All right, I am still meandering around the courtyard area, the cellar hole, and everywhere else. I wandered back to the cellar hole itself to play in the nails, and I just got myself a bingo. And you can see it's a stone pile. It's left of the uh, home site here, and right on the edge. Give me a good 86. This is going to be a thick one. I don't know what that is, but that's a nice heavy-duty coin. It's probably a large set. My second toasted coin of the day, are you kidding me? That is copper number seven for the year. Holy crap. And I don't know what it is. I think it's a large set. It's pretty thick. Right, let's see what we can do with it. Well, I haven't gotten much more than a few feet away from that uh, copper that I just dug. And... Uh, Still working the back side of the cellar hole. And I just got a tone and it was a lot deeper than it said it was. 
I was hoping it was going to be the whole deal. But, no. Oh, look at the color on that thing. Are you kidding me? Wow. Oh my god, I wish I could have dug it. Look at the shine on that thing. That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm dying here. I hope I can find the rest of that. That is beautiful. Well, I don't remember what the heck my last find was. Maybe that uh, shoe buckle shape, that really nice one. But here's my next find. A little flat button. It's no longer flat. It's been chewed on, stepped on, regurgitated. I don't know. Beats nothing. Let's keep digging. Yeah, I'm literally six feet away. Here's that last button I just dug. And here we go. Another little plain button. Nobody special. But I'm down slope from the cellar hole. There's a little uh, outbuilding, but the cellar hole is right up top there. I'm kind of working this little down slope and I'm starting to get a few things. So yeah, maybe it'll pick up again. All right, it's quiz time. What rings up 35 VDI on my MXT and is five inches down? Give up? A button. Let's take a look. Scoop and not find it. Come on, it was right there. Oh, there it is. And there it goes again. Yeah, that's what it is. Oops, sorry guys. Yeah, just another plain flat button. I don't think any of these I'm getting today have any back marks on them. Well, it's been a while. Um, I've been just bopping around hoping for random finds, and that's what my last two were, that 35 VDI button that was 5 inches down, and now I got a 50 VDI 3 inches down. I can see it in the plug. Let's see what it is. And started exposing it there come out oh I got bazinga with a piece of uh, piece of lead ba zing ga well the hour groweth late and the site groweth quiet so I think we're gonna call it a weekend um, I had a good couple days oh baby um, they had a lot of buttons and those uh, two coins and yesterday's goodies that uh, obviously I'll have up for the video. Um, as usual guys, thanks for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and not picking your nose and eating it. And We'll see you guys in a week or two.